Hi, I'm George Mounts uh, from Roots at Thorpe Farm, uh, Bartby Thorpe in Leicestershire. Uh, we're just located about five miles out of the centre of Leicester. The farm here, we're about 500 acres of mixed arable crops. We've got some grassland as well, where we're producing our hay for the livestock, for horses to sell through our shop. So today we're going to focus on our vegetables we grow here on the farm. We roughly grow between two to three acres of seasonal produce. It's a short walk from this veg patch straight down to the farm shop. So we're not talking about food miles, we're talking more about your food footsteps. So soils on the farm, we have a variety of soils from your heavy clay soils to your finer, lighter soils like we have here. And this is where we're growing our veg on this finer soil. Preparation of the seed beds. Once we've harvested the crops, we let any weeds germinate naturally. Um, and then we find that we plough those weeds back into the soil. Any excess greenery from the crops that we've harvested, which is left in the field, we plough that into the soil, along with the manure from the farm. This is adding plenty of nutrients and goodness to the soil. When you eat nutritious foods, it keeps you healthy and it helps you grow. Just like what we're doing here with our veg. We're adding the nutrients and the natural goodness into the soil to help our crops grow and produce wonderful vegetables. Our brussels start out in these little seed packets. Early February, March time, we'll take them out of the packet and we'll put them into these trays. We get about 360 uh, seeds per tray. We line the trays with soil and then we drop the seeds in. These trays then go into our polytunnel where it is nice and warm because as February, March time, it's still winter, it's very cold outside. This allows the seeds to germinate and then grow. And hopefully round about Easter time, so April time, We've got nice, healthy plants, which we will then take out into the field to plant. Once we have planted the plug plants, in the same day, we are putting these nets on top of the crop. This is to protect them from some of the pests. All our plug plants are planted in rows. Approximately, we have about 40 plants per row, and each plant can produce approximately about 20 little brussels per stem. In this plot here, for instance, we have six rows. We do find that some leaves get eaten, but if the centres of the plants do not get touched, they'll still grow. These stay on for several weeks, but once these are off, we have to then continuously be here to weed and to check for any other pests or any other damage to the plants throughout. On top of all this weeding, we do like to add some more goodness to the plants in forms of fertiliser, but we do use a natural fertiliser in the form of seaweed. So here on the farm, we work on food footsteps rather than food miles. We take our vegetables from our veg patch to the farm shop and it's less than a two minute walk. We're cutting our veg every morning, first thing before the shop is opened, it's delivered to the shop, displayed, and it's there ready and available for customers to purchase. Customers can't get much more of a healthier product uh, because it's cut that morning, so it's still got all its goodness and it's still got all its uh, nutrients in there too. Thank you all for spending the time and listening to what we do here at Roots and Thorpe Farm. We'd love to see you at the farm here. You can see what we do. Not only that, you can come in the farm shop and purchase some of the wonderful vegetables that we grow. Thank you.